They say you are what you eat, so I'm Dunner Kebab. Mukbang episode Dunner Kebab. Now you might be wondering why there's a Germany flag on the thumbnail of this video. This is Germany's most popular and almost national dish, believe it or not. It's like chicken tikka masala, the national dish of Britain. I got all the ingredients for Döner Kebab and trust me, I, could, I was allowed to slice my own meat. There are a lot of great feelings in the world, like you know, seeing your firstborn child, graduating, your first love, your first kiss, but let me tell you something that beats all of them. Slicing your own meat from the Duna Kebab pole. Here a clip. Good. Now you've seen that? You know I'm a happy boy. First of all, we need to toast the bread for the kebab. Pina's, Pina's Dunaria was grateful enough to give me two pieces of bread and all the ingredients for this kebab DIY Duna Kebab Edition So dry pan, this is almost like a grill now Can you see? Veal meat Exquisite We have garlic sauce And we have various salads Well this is Germany's preferable hangover meal Internationally known Perfect, this is spoil, we need it the bread is hot and toasty. Woo. Huh? Time for the sauce. This is at least how they do it in most dinner shops. One big dollop of sauce. Deliciousness, -ness, -ness, ness Now comes the meat. And you want to put a lot of meat on here. Be liberal. It's very hard to resist eating this meat by itself. Now salad. and tomato. Now, in most Döner shops in Berlin, they put a little sprinkle of salt on top as well. And here we go. Döner Kebab. Take a snapshot right now. Hashtag Döner, hashtag Kebab, hashtag Türkiye, hashtag Pishmanie, hashtag Turkey the country, not the bird. You can see all these layers. Quick street food, good for home as well. DIY, do not kebab. Let's see how I did. It's a pretty good duna. Not everyone can do this. The duna is made from Tur Turkish migrants that came to Berlin, in like the 80s or something. And now it's the most frequented street food in Germany. This is basically my childhood on a bun. You know how there are McDonald's in the US? There are Döner shops in Berlin. I grew up in Berlin. I was born in a city close to Frankfurt, but I grew up in Berlin. And I spent most of my childhood there. Until I was like 14 or something. And then I traveled to some boarding schools. And then I traveled the whole world. Anywhere I go in the world, this is one of the most familiar things I ever will eat. And it always takes me back, you know? You'd never forget where you're from. We have a lot of Turkish people in Berlin. They sell these things. They sell loads of other Turkish delicacies like gözleme and burek and döner kebab. And like, you know, Mezip Özil. He's a famous guy. He's from, he's, he's Turkish originally, born in Germany. It's really sad to see when you see Mezip Özil on TV, a Turkish football player playing for Germany. If he's doing well, he's a great German player. If he's doing terrible, he's a horrible migrant from Turkey. Guys, have some respect. Mm. I think this is one of the most familiar foods in Germany. And also one of the most familiar smells. You smell one of these stalls from kilometers away because of the garlic and heavy meat. Beautiful aroma after a night out. This garlic sauce is very garlicky. The last bite of Döner Kebab, I'm commemorating to all the Turkish people in Germany or especially in Berlin. You are what makes Berlin great. You are what makes Berlin vibrant. Thank you. Homage. 
That's it. Mukbang with Ben. Doing a kebab episode is over now. Um, I hope you liked a little insight about my life, about growing up here in Germany. Although I didn't really say that much about it, but still. Uh, hope you come to Berlin one day. Uh, if you're in Berlin or in Germany, ring me up. We'll hang out. Um, take care, guys. Watch the other episodes and please subscribe.